Greetings, cadets, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Remastered. Part 12 of the Rock Rabbit Commentaries playthrough. We are about halfway through Planet Battalia, making our way to the Star we Watch just Defense got Camp. To Battalia. How are we halfway through? Because this level only blocks you in very specific but easily traversable ways, like having the correct footwear. Actually, that's no. right. I don't even think we have it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, darn it. Mr. Zircon, would you kindly? Well, looks like the reinforcements arrived. Let's get to work. You're out of Groovatrons. But I still have Mr. Zircon. <laughs> This is jump and strafe. Jump and strafe. They 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 are dumb firing enemies. Oh Jesus. That is a non dumb firing tank. So are you gonna actually use your pixelizer on the tank? Depends. My weapon of choice right now is uh, definitely Groovatron. Note it. Throw it, please. Let us end this battle once and for all. And you keep trying to melee. You keep trying to melee the tank, and uh, because uh, because of touch damage, it keeps knocking you backwards. It's dead now. It's actually not even touch damage, but it is a form of repulsion. You are correct. They say, <laughs> but I can. It's a hell of a time. I'm sorry, it's a hull of a time. Mm, do we really want to have cook cooking classes on the ho on the on the Hollywood planet? Cooking classes are awesome. Get to all sit around they in are, cafeteria but like, setting. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, on a Hollywood planet, really? Hell yeah. Because then you get to see other yourself and other people. Make it in HD. You can watch the carbon dioxide gas rising from the dough. Oh yeah, uh, we don't have Magna Boots, so we cannot proceed. But that's okay, because we have taxi service. Good thinking, Captain Quark! Why, thank you, uh, Captain Quark. So we need 28k in order to get the uh, the uh, warmonger. Hell Is that yeah, what it was warmonger. called? Warmonger, one of the most powerful weapons in the entire game. Thankfully, I don't do a lot of uh, let's say bolts grinding by going back over areas where I probably already destroyed the boxes. It doesn't really look like you need to. To, to a certain extent, no, I don't need to. Especially if you are playing conservative with the weapons you're purchasing. Screw it. Let's go on vacation. The Poketaru. Mm, Pokemon. It looks, like a, it looks like a cross between Saria and Corneria. Or even... How about Aquas in Corneria? Um, I don't remember what Aquas looks like, honestly. That's because you do not see it from the surface, mostly. You, it is an underwater level. Yeah. There is a submarine level in, in Star Fox 64. I've never played it, though. Yes, and that would be the Aquas level. Don't we take the same submarine through, uh... Not through a mag, uh, through a magma stream. Say what now? Uh, I could have swore that in either Star Fox 64 or Star Fox Zero, you go through a level, you go through a level uh, by riding a magma stream. By riding a magma stream. Well, 
you ride above a magma stream on planet Solar. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of then. No, thank you. <laughs> These colloquialisms are funny. You must be ratchet. This is so weird. The resemblance. It's uncanny, I know. Grim asked us to help you to Almost like they use the same character model. <laughs> I think he's got a, a different broken tusk though. I think they have the same broken tusk actually. <laughs> So his his left tusk is apparently broken and at at the end. So we we will see if maybe at some point in their twin lives they had endured the exact same incident at the exact same time and had the exact same injury. Gunbuster level up. Oh crap! An upgrade uh, an upgraded telepathopus. No, this is a telepathopus against which we can't use the jetpack. Honestly, that makes the fight significantly easier because from here, all you got to do is figure out the uh, do the dodge pattern that you need, and then uh, just uh, straight back and forth on the ground, or just throw a groove or try to negate the whole fight altogether. Hey, that was pretty good. I agree. New card. Screwing through the game is awesome. Um, sure. Goodbye, glitchy fish. <laughs> Don't shoot the dude or the boat, Zircon. I know that the dude looks a lot like Grim, but Grim is not that big of an asshole. He's just our employer. Mr. Zircon does not care for us. But Mr. Zircon can waste his shots. I love how we're both quiet so we can give Mr. Zircon the, the platform he needs to speak. Even though he's had plenty of, of that platform throughout the game so far. <laughs> I... It's, I, um, it is a combination both of the static protection that I get and that I find Mr. Zircon quite humorous to me. <laughs> there we go. We have enough to purchase a warmonger. Mr. Zircon cannot be destroyed. No, we're not going to see any flea type enemies, though. A matter of fact, a majority of the enemy types that we've been seeing are mostly aqueous. As opposed to insectoid. Let's see, did I fight any of these goldfish on my previous adventures? Well, the, we've seen the crabs before, but now they just they just conveniently seem more at home here. But they are they are the same crabs that we have come to know. Yeah, do the do the ow. Oh. Uh, uh, Groove uh, 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 leveled uh, uh, up, 20% uh, uh, longer lasting. Sweet. Hell yes. That makes it even more powerful. Maybe almost too powerful. Enemy down. Yay, we slayed another telepathopus. Yeah, but we can't collect brains from these. That's true. I feel like that, that, but that that's is like a... Because we're no longer on, on gas bar. They could have... Do you think they could have added an extra objective on Planet Gaspar so that you could get an additional reward for getting these telepathic brains? They could have, but the problem is the original design of the game enforced them to have uh, quests and side quests related directly to the area that you're in. As such, they would not have done that. I would disagree on the premise that these missions are isolated unto themselves, except for the part that you can only make progress on the planet by doing things on that planet. Then there are the equipment upgrades, like the Magna Boots, for instance, which, by the way, has nothing to do with us being on Pokotaro in the first place, but I, stay, I hold that 
sometimes there are elements that cross over, at least as far as gameplay is concerned. Long jump. <laughs> that doesn't really count as the bridge being out. It's more more or less off. <laughs> Maybe that's why he took it only as a minor nuisance. I mean, he he knew that he couldn't do it because he is a two-legged fat ass. But we got uh. Platforming skills. I won't be able to reach my friend until the ground troops are cleared out. You're on it. I think that's the last of them. I am detecting another bridge control switch in the vicinity. Mm. We should have healing so cube. Whoosh! Another bridge. Another bridge but we control have to take out switch. The ground first. But we have to clear the area. Please let there be peace among us. Peace. So that we may disco Peace. the day away. Peace. Right. Then the button goes green. I'm coming. Sorry. I'm a little out of shape. As evidenced by my fake Hawaiian shirt. My god, the circuit is controlled by the EK EKG from their hearts beating. That is Look, sick. Now we're gonna throw even more of the same at you, but simultaneously. Ow. I don't know about that. What about our generic shopkeeper, dude? Oh, that is Al. Okay. Our generic shopkeeper is the Gadgetron vendor. Yep. Oh, you know, that, that, that funny, it's my charm and personality that keeps bringing you back. 20% more damage on the pixelizer, meaning it now takes only 8 shots to, to take out the, uh, no, the telepathopus with it. Tell the, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it again. Pixelizer is dope. Yes. Hey, Al, can you open up? Oh, come on, don't make me say it. Now your call. I have left the Orion's entire anthology here, and I can sing through it track by track. Yeah, all right. All hail Big Al the Conqueror. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Him is not at all that great of a conqueror, though. The glory of his level 20 spellcaster burns brighter than the fourth star of Julius Major. You may now end. Only level 20? Dude, that's only deity status. What about celestial deity status? How's my lady Cora doing? Yeah, she's good. Uh, listen, we're here uh, to yeah. the <laughs> You think you can help us upgrade our onboard weapon system? Always happy to help the Galactic Rangers. How about a Tesla Blast weapon kit? It uses polarized electroemitters to increase propulsion by 128.7%. Even a raritanium hull is no match for those babies. Sounds like exactly what we need. You lead the kind of. We'll cover you. Is there any Why is it in on? the tiki bar? Well, be, well, we we got the thing from the tiki bar. It is a fat man who knows how to do stuff. Now everybody dance. Even the Gadgetron vendor dances. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Damn it. Uh, d uh do I commit? Yeah, I committed. Yes. Okay. More ammo. More problems. It's more ammo, less problems, actually. Okay, it's, it's, it's okay. It, the, the disco ball tends to explode, everybody. Is it? Are you, are you, are you all right? <laughs> Zergo Helm Smasher. Was there? Really? Oh, I love her. She hates everything. I hate everything is a popular YouTube channel. <laughs> if it is a thing, it is hateable. We know this to be true. Ha! <laughs> He's got fat guy chin. We have reached our destination. 
Mm. Hey, we're back to start. Woohoo! Thanks to the power of taxis. <laughs> well, the power of boat taxis, at least. And in the next you know, part... You have to wait for the dudes to come up here. In the next part, because of this slowness, right, we are going to use the following upgrade in order to defeat the Hydro Harvesters. We have Tesla Bass Cannons! Yay! Now go kill stuff.